Hi guys, got a request from James Stead to make a hovercraft with parts all from my local bargain stores or pound stores. So I'll be using the electric motor from this USB vacuum cleaner. I'll be using polystyrene plates or styrofoam plates and for the fan blade I'll be nicking the fan off this little fella. We've got the basic bits, got an electric motor, 9 volt battery and I've used the switch from the circuit board so that I can switch the motor on and off. We need to make this shaft bigger because it's too loose at the moment. We need to cut a hole in the top of the plastic plate for the fan. I've got some insulation here stripped off some power cable. Now to mark up the plate for cutting the hole in the middle. I reckon this is about three inches, three and a half inch diameter. Let's say three and a half inches. So half of three and a half is one and three quarters. So that's the hole I've got to cut out. I need to make a what to call it, <laughs> a wall to go around the outside, <laughs> or a tube, that would be a better word wouldn't it, I need to make a tube for that to go inside, that piece of cardboard might do the job, I've wrapped some parcel tape around the cardboard to give it a bit more strength. A couple of barbecue skewers. And that should hold the motor. Okay, I've just pushed the motor in place at the moment but I will hot glue it in a minute. Right, nearly ready. Need to do a bit of tidying up. Obviously I don't want that wire coming from underneath. I need to bring it out inside somewhere. But we have movement. Battery's running down a bit. 
If I just lift the battery up then we've clearly got movement. I've made a couple of modifications. Most obvious one is I've shifted the battery so it's right in the centre so that helps the balance. The other thing I've done is I've added some vents around the side which are pointing in that direction because now that it's balanced well it's spinning that way round so I'm trying to get some airflow to counteract that. just about counteracted it. The only trouble is my battery's getting a bit flat now. Probably a good time to stop. I'll just give it one little go. You can probably hear the motor dying as we talk. But I think we've achieved success there. And with the battery dying slowly, there's less torque and it's actually beginning to spin the opposite way with the vents pushing it round instead of the torque of the motor. Just very quickly swap to my other battery which hasn't had time to charge up yet but I'll just see how much power it's got. Oh, that's moving quite nicely. Yeah, not too bad. At least it's not spinning really fast the wrong way. If I shut the vents. That's what I'm trying to prevent. <laughs> so, got to get the right balance because obviously you're letting air out of the cushion by opening the vents, but it spins round. So, there's an optimal position where just the right amount of vent is going to push it the right way and still keep it off the ground. <laughs> 